So Christian, tell me about the van. Right, so in the back of the van, what we've got is we've got a cooking area, you've got your sink, you've got your cooker, you've got above here, as you can see, we've got a little square pot so it makes everything. All little of our Tupperware. Yeah. How it all sort of works. It's actually quite good to show you camp with stuff in it. Yeah. Very um, ergonomic. Then what you've got is you've got like a little stuffy hole where you put like little, I need to get that really quickly, cutlery drawer. Yeah, you've got inside your cupboard here where you've got like dustpan and pots, but again with all the Tupperware, so you can see that you can get absolutely uber amounts in there. You've got another cupboard because it's a long wheelbase, so you've got another cupboard where you can put your bed in, things like that. Yeah, you've got over here where you can have a full door or you can have two doors. Um, where you can hang clothes, you can take ball games with you, you can do whatever you want. You've got a little screen here, um, which comes across, which I'll explain why that comes in useful in a minute. Yeah, and then what we've done is we've made a special storage solution there for the... Christian, what are these for? Um, I'll show you that right now. These are to go with the beds at the front. Let okay. me show you how the beds work. Right, so... We're, uh, we're in the sit round group at the moment. Um, we've laid the table out for two people. Um, if there's four people, you can have it in the middle. Um, if there's six people, you can have two tables. Options infinite. However you want to do it, we'll do it that way. But, as I was saying, the bits in the middle are to create the beds. Bed one. Okay. Bed one. Yeah. Bed two. Okay. Plenty of room. Yeah, absolutely plenty. What are you like? Five eleven, five ten? I'm five ten. Um, but if you are a little bit taller, we have had people that come in that are like Uber. If you notice that the uh, the seat actually moves, so we can actually make it even longer. Make the bed longer. Um, make okay. the bed longer. Which, which, to be honest, but we don't all see, sleep upright, do we? Yeah. What I'm going to do now, as you can see, is I'm putting these two pieces out. And they just slide out of that storage hole. Well, you can either have two singles, which a lot of people want two singles, or what you can do is you can literally have the biggest crumbs. The biggest bed you can ever fit in a Renault Traffic. It's full width, it's a full width bed. You know, you can't get any bigger. And again, it's all really sturdy, you can do what you like, yeah, it really Good to know. is brilliant. It just clicks into place. The way, simple as that. A um, automatic version, we'll go through it. And this one's called the Whitney. And the fascinating thing about the Whitney is you can either have it as a four, a five, or a six travelling person setup, um, which is great, obviously for blend, blended families, um, family with four children, uh, two children, and the and the and the mother-in-law. However you want to do it, it's there. It's there. Yeah. Um, this one's got the two sliding doors, which I'll show you show you in a minute, and it's got an awning on the outside. Yeah. Uh, as we go round, we have this one with the barn door. Um, all the vans come with this um, sort of canopy, so when it's raining, yeah, you can actually have a, a little bit of shelf from the inside. Yeah. As we go inside the van, yeah, you've got your... So, uh, with this one, you've got your double burner cooker sink. Yeah, you've got uh, at the top where you've got your Tupperware with like, um, where you can put your little tea bags. We always think that square ones obviously get you more room inside and your cups and things like that above. In the gas you've got a 4.5 kilo um, colour. Um, you can have an onboard tank underneath if you want to. Um, this one has a um, LPG um, British made um, heater, heating system on it um, so it keeps you lovely and toasty and it does last a really good long time. Um, in the cupboard you've got all your electrics but you've also got a little storage for like um, chemicals for the toilet and things like that. Let me just show you the toilet pulling out. Yeah, when you're pulling out the toilet yeah, you can see at the back that it's really easy to fill up the flush and it's also really easy to get to carry out the waste. I'll show you another picture from the front now. Coming back to the toilet again, I'll open it up from the front. 
yeah, you'll see that you've got your toilet. We've worked out that you can actually got um, room above here to, to toilet. There's a little screen uh, along here so you can have a bit of privacy. Yeah, so in the middle of the night you can have privacy and once the popped up top bed comes down, it is all sort of secure. Yeah, um, again, these just pop out the way. We don't really like things flopping about. Yeah, so you've got that because we worked out that if you put a toilet in, you lose this space above. Well, obviously, we've now got room to put your, your fridge, which is really useful for when you're in your cooking area. Yeah, um, this um, either has two doors or a single door if you want it as a wardrobe because you take long clothes. Talk to us about it. Um, when we do the build, we'll build it in for you. Um, there's also another little storage compartment there, which you can put loads of bits and bobs in. Uh, or if you want um, to actually have a... Um, if you want to have a, a grill in, you can put a grill in. There's room and provision for it there. Yeah, as we haven't talked about the extra bed that you can have. You can have uh, an upstairs bed. So all of a sudden, let's say you've got three little ones. You can put three little ones up here. Yeah, it's a big bed. Come here, let me show you. It's a big bed. It's great. You can put three up there, two adults up there. I've had four children up there and knocking in the middle of the night, but they never go to sleep. Don't put four kids up there. Right, so you've got your little sleeping bag, your little pillows. Leave them up there. Leave them up there when, you, when you're not using it. The reason being is if they're not up there, you've got to find somewhere down here. The people that have these uber low roofs, it must be a nightmare. I don't know why they do it. Right, we've made the thing, you've also got storage up here in the daytime. So if you just want to lob something up there while you're doing your day-to-day -day business, lob it up there, obviously take it down when you put it down. You've got this wonderful panoramic view behind you, just look at the panoramic view. Yeah, If that isn't nature's TV, I don't know what is, don't make provisions for a TV. But if you do, we do an aerial point, just add it on. But why do you need... A TV when you've got church bells ringing and a view like that. This is where everything comes into its home. You've seen the view. If you want to go to Ikea, you can literally, don't tell her, you can put kitchen units in here, wardrobes, whatever you want to buy from Ikea, it fits. Yeah? And then we're going back outside. This one's got a tow bar on it. Um, a lot of people like to have one of these and a caravan. If that's not showing off, I don't know what is. Yeah? Coming back round, we've now got the uh, inlets. So you've got a water inlet, your electric inlet. The reason why we do that when you drive away, yeah, you don't actually uh, forget that you've got the orange snake following you down the down the campsite. That's what I do. Yeah, I forgot to show you this at the back. Underneath there is a barbecue point. Get your Kadak, get whatever you want, just hook it in, off we go. Yeah. Right, the beauty with the Whitney now is we've all gone somewhere where you want to get in this side and you want to get in that side and then the kids argue about who wants to get in the van first and who doesn't want to get in the van first. Let them both get in at the same time, it's fine. Yeah? We come back into the dashboard of the Renault Traffic. Yeah? I know I'm going a bit quick but there's a lot to fit in. Right? So we're going into the Renault Traffic. This is the um, diesel automatic. Beautiful ergonomics of it yeah if I just spin you around the other side let me show you how this works okay right the way that Renault have designed the actual door cars that you've actually got your own captain seat without having to flip one in and up and down as you get in the cup holders mate you can have two drinks how amazing yeah you've also got your on online entertainment system it tells you about your eco driving your sat nav telephone media radio yeah um, reverse camera on it as soon as you go into reverse you've got a phone cradle yeah you've got um all the lights you can imagine will flick on let's get a key let's get her on yeah yeah so all of a sudden we're in well done, done. It starts up. It's uber quiet, yeah? Again, sat nav, yeah? Agree, we're going there. As you can see, it doesn't know where we are. We're at Whitley Court. This is where this baby was thought of. This is where it's come from. It's a big, massive, stately home in a small place called Worcestershire. We've made a really small camper van with a big space inside it. This is what this is about. 
in here you've got top boxes, you've got lower boxes, yeah, you've got cigarette lighters, yeah, you've got things, you've got road, you've got off-road assist, which is amazing. It's full of stuff. We want you to see how it's being used, yeah. Yeah, you've got control, you've got cruise control, you've got um you've got um speed limiters, you've got um stop start technology, you've got eco modes, you've got everything, yeah. What else do you need? Up here it tells you whether you've got your seatbelt on, it's all the thing. So on the dashboard you've got um sort of like off-road assist, you've got lights coming, you've got um you've got um your controls for doing your stereo yeah lights front spotlights things like that now they do this sort of like interior mirror no it's not for doing our, our, our guy liner guys this is for us to be able to get another blind spot mirror so we can see what's coming down the road as you can see we can see the awning outside where we get a blind spot it's a fantastic idea yeah wide view yeah fantastic idea really simple you've got um you've got your, your mirror yeah you've got reverse aids let's see if they come on it might help if i actually put it into reverse yeah there's your reverse camera it's also telling you all about your sensors on the back yeah you've got front sensors rear sensors yeah this thing virtually drives itself it's like you have to sit on it just to make a token gift yeah where, where do you want to go and where can you go in one of these? Let us know.